Hi, it's Warren here and Neil, and we just want to share from our journey. We've been on a journey for the last, say, two or two years, and we are having these Isaiah 55, come all you thirsty meetings, mm. and this is, it kind of happened, well, it mm. happened by the Spirit. We didn't know what exactly what was happening at the time, and we want to just share a little bit how, how it all began. Give you a bit of a foundation so that we all know where we're coming from. Yeah, just just a, the, just the background. So I think maybe if we can just start there. Neil, do you want to just share? Well, I was thinking, why don't you rather tell them what we do and then I'll say, give us okay, a foundation. Yeah. So just to give you an idea of what we're going to do. So you've obviously looking to subscribe and, and, and join the, the online meeting, the webinar, uh, which basically we're doing, you know, every Friday. Um, and what, what we do is we come together, together at my house uh, every Friday, you know, around about one o'clock, we get together, and the first thing we do is we eat together. Yeah, we eat. <laughs> we eat. We eat. We eat. We eat. We, everyone yeah, brings food. a chicken. Someone That's brings food. a chicken. Oh. Someone brings a roast. Someone does. So anyway, you know, the food's amazing, it, and it happens quite sort of um, by the spirit sometimes. Actually, and just the one person gets gets the gets the message and does it. So, yeah. So um, it's like a spontaneous combustion. <laughs> uh, it's called bringing. It's actually part of the fun. Like bring and share. It's I mean, part of the someone fun. bring a bread, whatever. Yeah. So. Actually, I think that's very, it's a very import, yeah. important part of our fellowship yeah. because they went from house to house in the book of Acts breaking bread mm. with one another. Yeah. So yeah. It's that, that time of fellowship, we break, we enjoy it. So we, okay, we're not coming here for the, <laughs> for the no, physical we're not, food. We are, we are, we are <laughs> we're coming yeah. here but to, to seek his friends. But the, the, the fellowship around the table, from the moment we it's just, vital. we it's pray vital. over the food, the anoint, I mean, God's oh, presence. I tell you, when we link hands, we often hold hands and the Holy Spirit comes, I have to sometimes not, my head wants to hit the plate. And boom! <laughs> the anointing is that it's, it's and, actually uh, and, quite astounding. It's like the Lord sitting at the table waiting for us. And Neil is extremely uh, sensitive. He's very sensitive to those, but he's like a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Okay. So he's like that. He's yeah, okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's <laughs> Okay, hallelujah. Hey, thank oh. you, Lord. Okay, well, we're going to try and we're going to try this. We're going to try this. This, 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 this. Oh, as, as we are. Oh. Right? So, uh, this, this is, is the kind of stuff Lord. that happens in our meetings. <coughs> when the Holy Spirit oh. comes, we. we uh, oh, he's excited we, about now, right now, what this, we're doing. This, this is, is like very important. So, I'm so glad to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So glad you're here. So, let's. Should we try oh, right, so, right. so, so, at the lunch, we do. At the lunch now, yeah. we, we, what we share, we share our testimonies, which we, what we refer to them but as the our fresh testimonies. The fresh, fresh testimonies. The ones we. Basically, what are Je Jesus stories? What did mm. Jesus do this week in your life? So, yeah. we, we share. Te and we go around the wow. table, and everyone That's has a chance. What did the Lord do for you? Mm -hmm. And we share. And what God has taught us, those are our memorial stones. As the Bible talks about the memorial stones, God has showed us that we need. And we'll talk about that just now. Yeah. The actual memorial stones. So, we share the stones. <coughs> and uh, yeah, we get we get happy. We get uh, and it's it's, it's built uh, your faith just hearing what just God's yeah, done. what God has done there. And very often it's some it's an answer to last week's prayer. Yeah, that's been a so around the table you're busy eating mm -hmm. and you're hearing the this, the testimonies. We start to get give thanks and it's just, oh, it's just getting more man. and more anointed, more and more time we spending with one another. Oh. And then basically we go from from the dining room we're going to the lounge where. Basically, we share some more of the words that God's given us. We start sharing some words. Normally, we share a couple of the words yes. that God's given us. And then straight into worship. And then we go straight into worship. And the worship is just basically what happens in, in the spiritual realm. We take off. Like okay. eagles take off. We take off in the spirit. And we, and we Sorry, by the way, there are no guitars. We don't, we, none of us are musicians. Oh, yeah, so yeah we don't even have a resident, resident musicians. God's taught me how to lead worship with a laptop and with a good playlist. And you get anointed music. Anyone can do this, basically. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things we were excited about is that what we're doing here is we believe that people can do this. You can do this anywhere you are in the yeah. world. What we're doing, having the lunch together, worshiping with a group of people um, is so yes. powerful. So we just worship the Lord and and and, and, and around about half past four-ish we kind of land. Yeah, we come, we come and down. Just settles down. And although we could just carry on, uh, yeah. people have got to go home. There's families to yeah. see too. Yeah. We've got to kind of land and, yeah. and bring the music down. Mm -hmm. And then that's exciting time because now we want to hear... You know, yeah. the, the question then is, what does the Lord show you? Yes, because we, you you? we find during the worship, God often speaks. There are people around the room who see visions, some hear words, some hear scriptures. It's all different. One of the, one of the people who's here regularly often hears sounds. She's, she's, she, sometimes she stops us. Did you hear that? Remember the thunder? Yeah, yeah. No, she, she was like, anyway, so we see things, we hear things. God speaks in, in a myriad of ways. And what we find very effective is to sit with a notepad. Mm. So we're worshiping, but we all got our notepads ready. So when God shows you a thing, you write it down, and uh, at the end we just share it, and it's very, very powerful. Um, 
But maybe we should just talk about, we spoke about stones, yeah. and I want to give you a bit of a foundation of where we started. Yeah. About two and a bit years ago, I was, I'm a businessman, I run a property company, and Warren's a, also in business, uh, he does marketing of various things. <laughs> He's multi-talented, this man. And um, anyway, I was driving to work, feeling very dry, and I hadn't spoken to Warren for a while, actually. And I just had this, this, this call Warren, call Warren, so I phoned him. And he asked me how I was doing, and I told him what I was doing, and then I told him a little bit about what God had been saying to me, mm. and it appears God had been saying the same thing to him, and he was speaking to both of us about memorial stones. You know, in Joshua, when Joshua crossed over the, the, the Jordan, and the Lord said to them, get some stones from the middle of the river, and paint them and write on them, and put the stones up, and your children are going to say, what do these stones mean? And you'll say, this is a memorial to what God did back then. Yes. Okay, and he started showing us how the word of our testimony are those memorial stones. This is a real way to overcome the evil one. is by the word of our testimony, the blood of the Lamb, not loving our lives unto death. And, and just on the mm. stones, what God showed uh, Miriam, even like maybe about three years prior to <clears throat> that. She sh and I, and Miriam's his wife, by the way. Yeah, sorry, Miriam's my wife. And what she, she saw was very, uh, very, very powerful, and God took me back to that prophetic word. And that's why it's important that you write your prophetic words because God can take you back years and you can you get you basically finding treasure. So anyways, he, he pointed me back to this prophetic word specifically and in this prophetic word he was showing her a path and, and, and uh, basically the path was coming to a, um, a T-junction and you could go left or right or straight and if you went straight you would go kind of in the bush. Mm. In the wilderness. In the wilderness. Uh, yeah. And it's like, and the Lord said you've got to go straight and there was no path. And then he said, the only way you're going to go forward, instead of having a really rough, rough, rough time in the wilderness, is through thanksgiving. And the, and the thanksgiving, every time you say, thank you for healing my child, thank you for providing the food. You're laying a stone. You're laying a stone. And that stone is what you're walking on. Because when you do, it's not just recognizing the stone or talking about it. It's actually doing the thanksgiving, saying thank you for this testimony. And those are the stones mm -hmm. that we're going to give our children to tell them this is what the Lord did in this, in this yeah. time. So, so we actually document these these um, these uh, Friday afternoons. Yeah. So all of our stones, we record them. Uh, Warren is very diligent. Jones is very diligent about getting this all of this together. But just to get back to where we started with the stones thing. So um, when I got together with Warren and we, I, I said to him over the phone, I said, well, God's saying the same thing to me. Let's get together to pray. And he said, good idea. When should you come? So I said, well, you know, if I go and sit at my desk now, I'll spend the whole afternoon getting nowhere, because that's what it's like. I just was really barren place in the business world as well. And um, I said to him, it doesn't matter how much work I do now, it's not going to work, because that's what, was, what I was experiencing. So I came to his house, and, and he and, and Miriam and I got together and we prayed. And I had a vision, and I saw this road made out of stones. But I didn't know the, the, the vision that Warren just shared with you now. I didn't know anything about that. I just saw this thing. And I saw that when it went through a valley, it was laid up like it was raised up like an aqueduct, and when it went through a, a mountain, it had been cut down like a real aqueduct. So the, the valleys were laid up and the hills were cut down, just like in I think it's Isaiah 35, yeah. that highway of holiness. And I recognised that this was that road, and I saw this. The road is made of stones. And the Lord said to me that those stones, that road is made up of our corporate memorial stones. And then I had this wow moment realizing that we're walking on the same road that John the Baptist walked sure, on yeah. when John the Baptist said, make, make a way in the wilderness. Prepare, prepare ye the way, you know. And Elijah and all of our forefathers in the faith, they, they, our faith is built on the, the, the foundations that they built on this road. They all walked this road. All these, these are these ancient paths. All these testimonies, sure. So we read about these testimonies of our forefathers and we, we're really grateful for them. But what we're doing right now is we are laying down stones and we're literally walking on the stones as, as we, we're walking by faith, not by sight. Yeah. And that's the path he's had us on. And um, I think by way of an example, I just want to share what happened about, about eight months ago. Um, what, what came out of this, by the way, is Warren and I have done a, a joint venture in a business and uh, it's called Organic Growth. And we teach people how to invest in property as a way to, to create wealth and get out of this debt trap and, and poverty and so forth. So we're really excited about that and we've seen God's hand lead us through it. But what we did in, in the process of all of this is we developed a, an online property course, a sort of a, a property investment 101 course, that's what we called it. Mm. Um, here's, the, here's the DVD 
of, of the course. Um, so we created that, and uh, in the process of, of having these DVDs cut and burned and printed and so forth, we, while we were busy getting the product together, um, one Friday afternoon where we have these gatherings, I had to leave the, the meeting early to go and pick up the DVDs. And because I had to bring them back here so that Warren could burn them over the weekend, you know, burn the actual the content of the DVDs on, but they were getting printed. So I left the, the, the meeting and I went to cross town to buy the, to get the, the, the DVDs and I brought them in and I, ca I came in with this whole stack of DVDs um, and uh, to give to Warren to, and it was just wonderful to see our product there with all the printing on it and everything. We were all very excited. It was like a real moment. <clears throat> but that day, before I'd gone out at 3 o'clock, uh, one of the women who had just joined the meeting, in fact I think it was her first day, that was, the first it was Joan. Day. She prophesied over me. She didn't know me from a bar of soap. And she held my hand out like this. And she said, the Lord is going to put gold in your hand and you're going to give it away. And the more you give away, the more gold he's going to put on. And he's going to really put a lot of money in your hand to release um, to the poor. So I was properly excited about that. And then I had a vision clearer than I've ever seen in my life before. of me standing in, fr in front of a, uh, a, a vault. And I said to Warren, I'm standing in front of a, a, a big bank vault. So Warren says, open the door. <laughs> I said, I don't know how to interact with the vision. Come on, give me a... Because you know, we talk. He says, just open it. So I said, okay, let's ask the Lord. And we asked the Lord what to do. And I got the... I don't know. I just thought, let me just grab this. So I had my eyes closed. But I grabbed where I thought the, the handle was. And I did that. And the door swung open in the vision. And I looked straight into this vault. Gold bars lined up on blue shelves. Sure. It was quite a, the most uh, realistic vision I've ever seen. And I was properly excited about this. Anyway, so that is all very exciting. This happened before 3 o'clock. Bear in mind. Mm. Okay. Then I rushed off to get to get the DVDs. <clears throat> and I came back. By the time I came back, every, the, the meeting had dissipated. People had gone home. So it was just Warren and Mirren and myself. And I said, let's pray over the, the DVDs. So we did. We prayed over them. We blessed, we blessed the, this work. And we asked God to bless every single person who's, who's seen our DVDs and learned from this and use this as a mechanism to create wealth for future generations, all that good, exciting stuff. And um, I said, okay, it's time for me to go home. So I go out and I get into my car. <laughs> and while I'm in my car, um, by the way, the Lord speaks to me through number plates quite a lot. I play, I started, started off as a game where I'd see number, numbers and number plates and think of the scripture that corresponds. And then I started seeing patterns and the Lord really um, speaks to me a lot through, through number plates. <laughs> It's quite weird, but it's peculiar. Yeah. But we are peculiar, isn't it? Yeah. So anyway, so we there, and a car comes driving down past us. And now I'm in my car, and Warren's standing next to me. And I look in the rearview mirror, and true as nuts, now, bear in mind, our course is called Property Investment 101. And we had this whole prophetic experience that afternoon. Well, <clears throat> the car coming down past us, number plate was something 101, and then another digit behind it. So I said, did you see that, Warren? He said, yes, I did. So I said, what is the rest of the number? He said, oh, I don't know, I didn't get it. So I said, okay, bye, I'm going to chase that car down and I'm going to find out what the rest of the number was. So I chased the car down. And Warren, if you could put up a slide now, uh, Warren's just going to put up a slide of, of the photograph I took of this car. And you can see the number plate was 101387. So I said, Lord, um, what is 387? And I just waited and I thought, let me look at Isaiah 38 point, uh, verse 7. And... <laughs> I nearly crashed my car because I was, I was driving when I looked it up. And, and this is what Isaiah 38 verse 7 says. It says, Oh, um, and this is the, the sign to you from the Lord that the Lord will do this thing which he has spoken. <laughs> so there I was seeing a number plate sure. which was saying, This is a sign, yeah. and that, it was 101387. This is a sign to you that I will do the thing. This is a sign to you from the Lord that the Lord will do this thing which he has spoken. Now you can imagine what that does to us. It, it builds our faith like over the roof. It really is exciting. And uh, with this, I just chose this as one little story to tell you what the kind of thing is happening here. So we're finding that these afternoons are, I can't wait for Friday. And once Friday comes, it's such a battle to get here. Everything in the world, I think the devil in the whole world tries to put something between me and the meeting. And the others also have a bit of a battle to get yeah, here. And sure. No doubt you're going to have to work hard to just resolve. I want to get to this thing if you're going to do it. Yeah. Because the enemy will try and keep you away. Um, but we overcome. And that's yeah. what, that's our very nature. Overcome, get to the meeting, get there late. 
the way this webinar is structured that if you arrive late you can still see the whole meeting yeah so that's the technology we have available to us it's available uh, even after the the webinar is over you can join it as though it was live um, the only thing is when you comment the comments won't be live yeah but we still get them but when, when it's live and you're commenting other people can see it and you can interact with one another you can talk to one another and the, the, the most powerful thing for me is that because of the technology now is we are able to literally gather live all over the world yes. you in your your house we in our houses and although you can do that on tv with you know certain god tv channels and things like that what is what is really powerful about this is that you're allowed to interact with us in other words we would we want to share the words you're giving so in other words we're not just saying this this team or these we're not just broadcasting we're not just broadcasting we want the words you got and those the relevant words will be shared as well so we want the words that you're getting so this is basically like a real meeting like you're in the same room and we we normally when we have meetings even if it's 100 people or 200 people doesn't matter how many people I, I, i'm always god has always put on my heart just Find out what the people have got. Right down to the children. What What is the Lord showing? What any visions, any dreams? It's amazing share? how they interact. Really so when you special. share that, you get the bigger picture because not one person's got the whole picture. Not the, mm. the, the you know the prophet for the hour. We need to see the picture. So when you share, when we come together, that that's why the, you know God has given us this this kind of pattern just to go through. In other words, just to have the fellowship, build the relationships, mm. w- build it with each other, build it with Him in the worship and then he starts to download and give us fanta- fantastic visions that are not just personal but actually for the body of Christ and, yeah. for, and for nations so we're getting some serious words for the nations and and, and just over a week ago um, God spoke just very clearly and, and, and Neil and I were just waiting on the Lord and we were saying okay Lord because the Lord taught us to, to look at Jesus what is he doing ask him what is he doing but Jesus only did what he saw the Father yeah. doing so we said Lord what are you doing you know what, what are you doing right then what did you see Neil I had a vision of, uh, it looked like something coming out of a printing press, like, like in newspapers that are being published. Mm. And as I, as I recognized what I was seeing, I got the word publish. I said, oh, the Father's publishing. So I said, Warren, what's the Lord saying to you? And he said something else. I said, well, he's saying to me, publish. And Warren just got it. He said, yes. He witnessed with it immediately. And from then till now, we've started this. My wife, who's had something uh, for a while now, she's been wanting to share about ad- adoption and anti-abortion stuff and IVF and all that kind of stuff stuff really close to the Lord's heart and she hasn't had the place to to publish it yet you know so she's just been writing and so forth and in the last two weeks God, sure. her stuff has been published on uh, na- in national newspapers um, in fact we're supposed to tomorrow have a, uh, a television channel come around to our house to hear our story because uh, I've got four children two of them were sort of from my first wife and that is all natural and normal and then when I got remarried, I'd had a uh, vasectomy. I'm getting all personal here, but anyway. Um, but the miracle was that we could have, an, uh, through IVF, uh, we could have a child. I had a son, Luke. And then um, we couldn't have any more. And so we adopted, we wanted a daughter, so we adopted a little girl. And um, so we've got a real story of, of, of becoming parents, you know, against the odds. And this is a story that, that my wife's telling and teaching people how to adopt and how to go through IVF and how to cope with it emotionally. And she's just been publishing like, like crazy in the last two weeks. Mm. So I really want to say to you that, that the Lord is showing us what He's doing and then we're just doing it. And so I, I want to encourage each one of you is, um, to, to ask the Lord what He's saying. Yeah. And so before the meeting, did you come prepared? And uh, you come prepared, seek the Lord because you could have words that God gave you in the last week, the last few days. And He's saying this is what He's saying because you just putting in the chat box or even just emailing us directly on the website you are sending that word to us uh, we are we've got the ability to publish it instantly basically you know across and the world I mean, you know i, I want to, to encourage you we get little snippets i mean uh, some of the people in the room get these panoramic visions and oh, so man, our videos, see a, i see a shape <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i see a shape here or there and it's yes. like but sometimes you know, you might you might get a uh, the Lord the Lord might say to you in the morning you'll see a vision of an umbrella that's it and you yeah. think what is that yeah but you bring it to the meeting and you say umbrella and this yeah. guy's getting rain and that one's getting rain and that one's getting rain and this one's getting floods and suddenly the picture comes together yeah that's that that's how we walk together on this corporate road this corporate road of our stones and 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 what God's done for you this week is so encouraging to those yeah. around you 
So, so we want you to share it, uh, share with one another and uh, also start connecting with one another as well. Eventually we must probably set up a, a Facebook page or a, fa a group on Facebook or yeah, something so you guys yeah. can get connected because the, God is busy connecting people across the earth and he's basically saying publish and God could be telling you right now to write a book. Yeah. To, to start a website or to do a blog or, you know, yeah. to do a Facebook page. And, and we have to skills publish. amongst us. And so what happens sure. is uh, we want to encourage you just to publish what God's telling you to do and what the words He's giving you to, to say. Um, and, and so we've seen the prophetic words that we have seen start manifesting. We've been living the dreams. Yeah. We, we are, we're living the dreams. Yeah. We see it. God says this today. In a week's time, something else happens. Some of them take longer. Some of them actually take years. So they don't all just manifest in the next week. That would be wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's some of them instant Christianity, like, instant uh, coffee, instant tea. Like, instant like jo <laughs> look, look at look at uh, Joseph had to wait a while for for his dreams. But some of them are short term, some of them are long term. Yeah. And uh, but the most in fantastic thing for me is that the gifts in the body are activated when we're expecting to the, the Lord to speak to everyone. That includes the children. Yeah. Everyone's coming together. So I want to encourage you to start getting together in groups, in homes. We, at, at businesses, wherever, just I mean, a group is two people. Wherever two or more gathered, there yeah, I am. Yeah. You can join with us, basically. So that, let me just tell you what happens now, practically. About an hour and a half before we start, which we the time at this stage, uh, we might change the time at this stage. It's about, let's say, 4.30 South African time, SAS time, or South African Santa time. Um, now, we gather, they say, and we, we, we eat and everything like that. But we're not filming that. You won't see that live. What you're going to see basically is basically after we've worshipped. As the worship starts, as the worship stop, we're going to start sharing for for half an hour, maybe an hour, not more than that. We're going to share. We're going to record it instantly. Access you can access the replay afterwards as well. You can send that out to other people to share the prophetic word with people. And but while we're busy sharing, you can also be sending your words in so that we can get a a summary and basically saying what is God saying? Because sometimes God is talking to us about very personal things, individual things. But a lot of times he's talking about general things for the body of Christ, for Israel specifically. He's giving us a lot of words concerning Israel. So maybe God's called you to pray for Israel. I want to encourage you. Carry on, but also just release the words that God's giving you because those words are important because mm. uh, we need every word that God is speaking. Because one word can com completely change your life. And the key scripture, and this is why we call them Isaiah 50, this is the Isaiah 55 gatherings. And it's a prophetic gathering because... Whatever we do needs to be prophetic, meaning that God speaks it and we do it. That's prophetic. Yeah. And uh, God, you know, it's the spirit of prophecy. It was just a testimony of Jesus Christ. So we need to operate with that testimony. And if we're not hearing, then we can't be prophetic. Yeah. So everyone should hear. Yeah. I mean, that's just quite Jesus a Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. So that's it. You hearing through number plates, you hearing through dreams, through visions, Bull through reading whatever. the scriptures. Well, however you hear him, donkeys. God, God, develops, yeah. donkeys. God develops a language with <laughs> you. you. God talks bring, bring what, he's, what he's saying to you to the party. And uh, yeah, it's a very exciting time. Yeah, so I just want to encourage you, come, just, just come thirsty. And come thirsty. Yeah, come thirsty. Go and read Isaiah uh, 55. 55. Don't waste your time on, on what, don't spend money. Come spend time. Spend time with Jesus. Yeah, that's really satisfying. So God bless you and uh, we're looking forward we'll to see you in the room. See you in the room.